It's no secret that our state has a lot of catching up to do when it comes to education. New Mexico consistently ranks at the bottom. As our Colton Schoen reports, some educators believe the secret to turning that around may be dual language programs. The students across the state are not winning when it comes to education. That's the crux of the Yazi Martinez case against New Mexico's public education department. The suit says this is especially true of low-income English language learners and Native American students. This week, educators and administrators are attending La Cosecha Dual Language Education Conference at the Convention Center to learn how dual language programs can close achievement gaps. First of all, especially in these regions, you have kids that they come straight from other countries. You want to keep the culture, you want to keep that, the, the beliefs that they have, build in that language, and then learn the new language. Eventually, in the future, whenever they start working, what is going to happen? Those kids are going to be bilingual. They're going to be able to compete with the world. Luz Roth works with iStation, and she is the 2018 Bilingual Teacher of the Year in Texas. She says the digital resources from iStation have been used in schools here in New Mexico for the last four years. You can be in fourth grade, but really, your level of proficiency maybe is in first grade. Nobody's going to know, except the teacher, but the computer is going to adapt that and take that student to go to that fourth grade level. But some educators say there are still major challenges facing the state, including high teacher vacancy rates, limited funding, and a lack of ELL training, issues that many school districts are trying to tackle. The National Conference will stay here in Albuquerque and it runs until Saturday. I'm Colton Schoen, KOB4.